people will try to hurt you before you hurt them. And it's almost like a protection thing. Hey guys, I'm back at it with another video. Thanks so much for tuning in. Make sure you check out the description for my workout consultation and then also for Discord. Make sure y'all follow my Discord. <laughs> Took a minute. But yeah, make sure y'all follow me on Discord. But today's video, we're gonna get right into it. And basically what I'm talking about today is the downsides of your halo effect you know body game you get a halo effect downsides of the halo effect and pretty much it's almost like you become a bully you know what i'm saying i guess it's like a almost like a bully effect it happens to you and why it happens to you and it's almost like why is the bully effect a thing you know what i mean and why are people like intimidated by you and everything like that and people perceive you to be as a bully you know so people perceive you to be someone that is going to take advantage of people people perceive you to be somebody who is going to power drive over people just be from your size you know what i'm saying and it has its pros it has its cons but the bad side of it is people will try to hurt you before you hurt them and it's almost like a protection thing it's almost like you know how you have fight or flight so you will deal with people who will want to pick a fight with you instead of running away you know what i mean because if they run away it's more so like i'm intimidated by you but some people will intentionally pick a fight with you just because they view you as competition they view you as an opponent immediately after seeing you and they view you as a, a really good strong opponent you know what i mean so um sometimes you know a lot of times people's masculinity is just out of whack in a sense because they're just like man this person seems more powerful or stronger than i am and this is especially for my guys who are in the 200 club. You in 200 club, you deal with this. And I, I, it took me long to understand that, you know, I have a bully effect. And pretty much where the bully effect is, man, you, anywhere you go, like, when I tell you that, is if you go in a room full of people and you're 200 plus, you, and so you have a bigger physique, you don't necessarily have to be a, a mesomorph, but you just, you're just bigger. You will notice, like, people are kind of cautious of how they look in your eyes you know what I'm saying? they're a little cautious on uh what they say to you and they are also cautious into how like they offend you so this is a positive but it can be a negative because you may not get the initial friend interaction you may not get an interaction where somebody is just coming up to you and asking you what your name is coming to you asking you just different things about yourself they're more so in the defense mode you know what I'm saying? They have to observe you first. That's why you hear a lot of people say, oh, you know, I have to read the room. I have to see. I have to observe, observe people's behavior before I'm comfortable with them. So when you have the bully effect or you have the body game syndrome, pretty much, this is for everybody. Everybody is more on toes with you. They're like, I need to see the temperament or the attitude or the personality of the person on body game before I take a jab at them, before I make a joke, before I show my real personality because... It's almost like an armor, just how you're, you know what I'm saying, you have strong, you have strong muscles and everything like that. Other people's defense mechanisms are jokes. Other people's defensive mechanisms are, you know, being rude. Like, they can't necessarily fight you, so they may say something that's going to offend you or, you know, change your feeling because they may not be able to do damage to you physically, but they may be able to do damage to you emotionally. So... Pretty much the bully effect is, man, like, you just you just can't catch a break. You know what I'm saying? And even in professional settings, <laughs> you'll notice, like, the people who really aren't supposed to be making a joke or people who aren't trying to, like, throw jabs at you are making jabs at you. And you're just like, bro, damn, do I have to fight this way? <laughs> do I have to fight you? But it's just that people just are on edge with you. It's just like normally maybe maybe a class clown or maybe, maybe somebody who is really, really funny, but they can't be as funny as they want to be because they don't know how you're going to take it you know what i'm saying they don't know you know this one joke might get them punched in the face or this one joke you know might really send them to the hospital you know they don't know how you're going to react and that's a masculinity thing you know what i mean it's just that everybody has their different areas of what they're good at some people are good at jokes some people are good at fashion some people are good at uh working out i just want you guys to understand that when you do work on your body it strengthens another person's armor like it strengthens what they say to you like it strengthens their protection to themselves because they just don't know you they don't know how you're feeling they don't know you, you know what i mean so they're not going to be friendlier to you you know what i mean unless they're attracted they're attracted to you yeah but like they they like the masculinity but if they're not necessarily attracted to you or they don't know 
They're like, they don't really know how, how you are. Like, um, I think a couple people that I met, like even for YouTube, like on YouTube, they just, how I act is just that they don't know if it's okay, if, if I'm approachable. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times I get people like, you, you just look mad, like you're not approachable. And it's just more so of like, it's for my own protection because I wasn't always huge. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't always big, but like now it's just the way I carry myself because I just like that. I like people not being so comfortable to disrespect me, you know what I mean? Or just so comfortable just to joke me, you know what I mean? They kind of try to get to know me first. And I just noticed with body games, it's just like the bully effect almost is like people just do that. And I appreciate it and everything, but it's like I'm still approachable. And sometimes people probably will never feel comfortable with me because they just don't know the ins and outs of my personality. They don't know how I handle, how I talk to people. So, you know, it's like people will just kind of sit by you and listen to your conversations or they'll try to, you know, join the conversation. Instead of talking directly to you, they may talk to your friend while y'all talking. So they might try to jump in. And this is it's all good, but it's like people just need to know who you are before they strike up a conversation or they pretty much they got to feel you out. And that's what I'm saying. It's like almost like the bully effect because, you know, what bullies is, is that when somebody's bullying you, they don't probably have something going on. But if you have that bully effect, people just automatically assume you're just going to be aggressive or be intimidated or be a certain way, even though you're not. So it does it does has its pros and cons, but just understand that people may not be as open with you. People may not be as comfortable with you. <laughs> like That's something I deal with all the time. Like people are just like, well, I don't know. I, I just don't know about Josh, I just don't know. Like, I, I don't know like, how he's feeling and everything like that. I don't know what he's thinking. And, uh, um, you know, it, it is it has its pros and cons, but I'm just saying, like, you have to understand if you're a bigger guy, like, you will deal with this. People just won't <laughs> say certain shit to you. Like, some, some, something offensive they may say to something else, they, or something offensive they'll say to another person, they may not say it to you. Or, like, or another thing is, they won't be jovial or joking with you. You know what I mean? And I like that. For me personally, I like that. But a lot of you guys may not like that. And I just want you guys to understand that it's not you. It's just necessarily how they perceive you to be. You know what I'm saying? Because you may be a big guy. You may be funny. But you have to really show that publicly before people feel comfortable enough to, you know, y'all can joke and banner together. But, like, <laughs> it's been a couple of times where I was just funny or whatever like that. People were just like, oh, my God. He's funny too. He makes jokes. Like he just doesn't seem the type to do that. Like, and I just be like, what? Like, you just don't know me yet. You know what I'm saying? You just don't. You haven't been around me. But yeah, man. Just like for my big, my bigger guys, like big guys, probably like at football. Like y'all understand. Like people take y'all a lot seriously. Even for me, if um if I see like a huge guy, or whatever, like that, I'm like, I'm not like intimidated, but I'm more so like, well, I don't really know. <laughs> I'm like. I don't, you know, I don't want to have to fight the biggest dude in the room. You know, feel me? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Everybody, everybody's like that. It's just normal. It's natural. But just understand that you got to warm up to people. Like, people have to warm up to you before you start joking with them or before you do something or even, like, kind of push them or something like that. Like, people will probably really be intimidated by you or they may feel a way or they may be really uncomfortable because they just wasn't expecting that. And they may feel like you targeted them and, you know, they just, they're just not comfortable with that yet. So just understand people have to warm up to you and just understand that you, you're a lot bigger than what you think. Like, even for me, I'm a big dude. Like, I'm a really big dude. And, like, I sometimes forget that, like, my stature is the way that it is. But with body game, people can see it. Like, right off, people are like, okay, this is a bigger dude than me or this guy is a lot more powerful. So just understand that, man. Like, understand that um, you have to be careful with people and understand that everything is not you, but it's just perception is king a lot of times. People, if they feel like you're this way, you're almost that way. Like, especially if a lot of people perceive you to be that way. But, you know what I'm saying? Just let people, like, warm up to you, like, talk to them, be more open. You know, sometimes, like, for business relationships, even for me, like, I have to be more, I have to talk first. You know what I'm saying? I have to, I can't really be chill because then somebody may take it as, like, I don't want to be there or they may take it as like, mm, you know, I'm not a good fit or I don't fit in. But it's just like if you're a bigger guy, bro, you got to talk first. You got to have a good presentation and then you got to 
you got to uh, pretty much ask a lot of questions because you may not get questions asked and they don't know if it's going to offend you or not. So it's like a respect. It's like a higher respect level. You just know that on body game. And uh, yeah, man, just be careful with that. Understand that because that's not really talked about for my bigger guys out here. But it's definitely a thing and people would definitely treat you differently for protection. <laughs> they don't want to get in a fight. So yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video, man. Hopefully you guys like the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Leave me in the comments down in the comment box below, and I'll see you in my next video. I'm out. <laughs>